Hello, my name is Ryan Gilson with Gilson Engineering. I'm in the Applications Department of the Pittsburgh office. In this video, we're going to go over the installation of the Signet 2552 insertion magmeter. When you receive your 2552, the first thing you're going to do is remove it from the box. In the box, you're going to receive the meter itself with a protective cap and then a number of accessories. This is going to be your alignment tool. You get a tape measure, two stainless steel hose clamps, uh, the insertion wings, an Allen key, a package of lubrication, and the software. For the purpose of this video, in demonstration, we're going to use the Signet PVC clamp-on pipe saddle and a one and one quarter inch stainless steel ball valve. Now, first thing you're gonna do is remove the protective cap on the saddle. Second thing you're going to do is utilize some Teflon tape, which we're going to skip that portion of that for the purpose of this video, all right? We are going to remove the protective cap at the tip of the 2552. Set this aside for half a moment here. I'm going to thread on the ball valve. Here. This large chunk of stainless steel at the top is used to adjust the insertion depth. Um, and you can see this will spin independent of the outer body. It allows the inside portion uh, to continue inserting. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make sure that this is fully retracted. We're going to do this for a couple of reasons. Uh, first, makes it easier to put in. And the second reason is just in case this ball valve is closed for some reason, uh, you don't want to run the electrodes into the ball itself inside the valve. Once you have the electrodes completely retracted, you're going to begin inserting it into the valve. Now, I'm going to put it uh, in line with flow here to show you that if, when you hold this still, your mounting nut has the ability to spin independently of the main body. This will be key later when you come to the alignment. Once you have the unit bolted in, all right, you're going to see a few things here. I can freely spin this, okay, and the unit in general is it's rather loose, okay. Uh, now before we start making our adjustments, it's worthwhile to take the lube out and you can lube up the entire shaft. And the other thing that you want to keep in mind, let me spin this for you, uh, on units uh, with a quick connect, or a disconnect rather, uh, cable, uh, it's very helpful to insert the cable at this time as the uh, electrodes are going to uh, go down into the shaft and it's gonna be hard to get at it later, okay? So make your connections, lube up the shaft, and then you can start, as you can see, you can adjust this insertion depth. Now, before you do that, one of the big things, you want to make sure that, like I said before, the electrodes do not smash into the ball valve itself. Okay, so once you have this connection made, let's be sure to open up the ball valve. At this point, we're going to grab our alignment rod. We're going to locate the alignment hole just underneath of the adjustment ring. We're going to take the alignment rod and insert it through the alignment hole. You can see at this point, I can freely begin to turn the unit in any direction I choose. I'm going to sight down from the alignment rod to make sure that I am parallel with the center line of the pipe, thus the flow. Now, we're going to go to page five of the manual that came with your 2552. 
once you have opened up your user manual, refer to page number five. This will provide you the calculations for determining your age dimension. Your age dimension will be uh, the insertion depth of the meter. Uh, you will be measuring from the bottom of the brass rod to the top of the pipe. Uh, you'll see here uh, versions 2 and version 3. Uh, this is the last digit on the part number for your 2552. Uh, so if you have a version 2, you're going to start off with uh, 10.88 inches. You're then going to subtract the wall thickness of your pipe. And then 10% of the total diameter of the pipe. And this remaining number is your age dimension. So bottom of the uh, brass insertion uh, rod to the top of the pipe, that's your, that's your age dimension. Now, if you have common pipe sizes and schedule, you can look at page number nine of the same manual. This is for version two, this is for version three. Uh, your pipe size here, um, pipe schedule, and these are pre-calculated age dimensions. Now that we've calculated our insertion depth with the supplied worksheet in the manual, we're gonna come back to the unit and we're going to adjust the friction lock. At the base of the nut, you're going to use the supplied Allen wrench, and you're going to snug this up. Now, as I'd mentioned earlier, uh, the unit was a little loose and shaky in there. This now, you know, secures it. It's quite solid. We're going to now grab the supplied ruler. You're going to be measuring from the top of the pipe and we're going to begin to adjust the wing nuts until the uh, alignment dowel corresponds with your calculated depth. So I can begin to tighten the unit in and it will begin inserting through the ball valve. Now that we have attained our predetermined insertion depth, we're going to remove the alignment tool. We're going to install the supplied stainless steel friction clamp that will deter curious fingers from adjusting the settings that you've worked so hard to put into place. These clamps will just clip on relatively easily. You're going to use a 10 millimeter socket uh, to tighten them into place. This will immobilize the adjustment collar once you have all of your points set. At this point, your physical installation is done and you're ready to go. This concludes the installation video of the Signet 2552 insertion mag meter. If you have any questions, please refer to the phone number and the website at the bottom of the screen. Thanks for watching and goodbye.